Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, or should I say keychain light. Now this here is from Tunji, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is their S15. Now they sent this to me along with another one, and they wanted me to feature it here on my channel. I've done another one of their flashlights for them previously comes in this box. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up. See what's in. And you get one user manual. It's pretty tall. Looks like it's in English only, but it does have a, a light chart. Pretty large. So as you can see here, puts out 650 lumens for a little keychain light. It's a lot of light. Now if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause screen. Otherwise we'll continue on. And if you get one USB Type-C charging cable, I can get it out of there. Type-C, really short on this. And you get one clip, which I will be putting that on there. And you get one key ring. I don't drop it. Alright. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at the light. There it is. It does have a side switch, but it's indented here, so it's not going to be easily activated. Definitely does have a semi gloss finish. Now the style and design on this is nice, no issues. Here's the charging port at the very end here. It's nice to, for them to be able to squeeze that in there, especially in that area, it's pretty tight. Now the machining and finish feels nice. That's seeing any issues with that. Now this looks like it has a magnet built into it so I'm going to double check that with my handy knife and sure enough nice hands free it really nice feature for that Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here. Just such so small here. As you can see there, that's the Luminous SST20 LED. Trying to get a good angle on that. There we go. And that looks like a smooth reflector. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, put this clip on it. Now, believe it or not, I like having the clip on there, even if I carry it as a keychain light. So. so you've got a little indentation here on the body, where this goes on to. It's got a lot of resistance on there. And that looks good too. Just put it in your pocket, shirt pocket, inward of course, if you want to secure the light. So now let's go through the UI. UI, looks like we're going to go ahead and press and hold. 
momentary action. Quite a bit of light I'll put there. Definitely cool white. Nice beam on here. Look at that. That's very close to a combination beam as you're going to get. Got a little bit of bleeding here. Cut off is not real sharp, but it is there. That's great light I'll put here. Get a little bit of warmness here on the head, but not bad. But now I believe to turn it on, you're going to double click. Now you do have a battery level indicator there, so let me show that to you one more time here. Press and hold, double click. There's the battery level. That will turn red and let you know. So you've got the additional light outputs here. You now can just click on them. Now the button is recessed enough. Uh, it does take a little bit to be right on top of the button. Press down and hold, shuts it off. Now you can press or switch that to get the highest output. <laughs> that is a lot of light. I'm shining on the back wall of my office here. Wow, impressive. Now I've never done a review of this name brand, but it's always nice to get new ones. I'm always willing to do it. They just got to be at least good quality or above in order to be featured on my channel. I'm not here to bash companies. They send me a bad product and it's not going to even be featured on my channel. So it feels like overall nice quality. I'm not seeing any issues with this. So let's wait no further. Let's take this S15 out. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the little Tunji S15. We're going to do the highest output on this light first, and then we'll do the other light levels. Press and hold. Look at that. Well, it's about 38 feet. 65 feet here. Man. line there it is on the fence all coming from this little light see if it'll make and it does look at that it make 138 feet from a keychain light wow got some mosquitoes out here so been having a heat wave look at that incredible light output on that so we're gonna double click on it now we're on the lower levels of the UI good for conserving the battery and that fence is about 22 feet from me I go up here is the next level making 65 feet there so that's impressive water spout 38 feet Still making that tree of life. I can clearly see it with my eyes, but not on camera. Let's go up to the next level here. Next level. And again, this is a very nice performing little keychain light. I buy these for... Sorry about that, uh, mosquitoes. I buy these for gift ideas all the time. Tree line, fence line. One little step up there. Just a little bump. Again, the amount of lumens this has is impressive. Famous tree of life. Hotspot takes up that whole tree almost. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it off again. And there's the highest output again. Press and holding it. 
Very nice. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots on this little S15. Impressive beam and performance. I'm not seeing any issues with this light. I have not tested this brand before, but I give it a great performance for a keychain light. Not seeing any issues. Nice overall. The design is nice. I like the fact that you can put a little clip on there. You don't have to have it on there. But uh, I did put the key ring on there. Simple enough with the magnets on there. It's going to kind of stay in the position between the two. There's two individual magnets here. So easy to operate this. You've got that pressure one time. If you need it for a few seconds, you've got it. Double click it if you need to do additional lower light outputs to extend that battery. You've got it. Uh, USB Type-C charging is a huge plus. You're going to be able to charge this little battery uh, pretty quickly. Now my understanding, I believe that the battery it is a 350 milliamp. So should be plenty for most applications and great for emergencies using on the lower light outputs you're going to get some really good run times on here so the luminous sst 20 led i know it real well they've done very well in the past all right well i want to thank tunji for sending me this s15 to review now remember this is a complete kit comes with everything you need i will leave a link down below this video including a special discount code they let me know that they will provide one if you are interested in this go ahead and check that area out and that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thanks button donate to my channel otherwise you can please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these new company flashlights from tunji to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>